All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to take your hero off the green screen. So what you're going to have to do is start by clicking the background and unlocking it. So you'll see it's done when you see layer. I just want to mention there's more than one way to do this, but this is probably, uh, I've, I'll say, the, one of the easier ways. So the goal is to get this hero onto a separate layer, so away from the green screen. We're not actually using the green screen effect here, and uh, obviously our goal is to transform your photo into a hero. So the first thing we're going to do is use the magic wand tool. So you'll notice it's usually the second one over here. And what it does is it picks the same colors, more or less, that it finds in the picture. So you see here, boom. That, and now you know transparent because you see the checkered board. Click over here. And you notice it doesn't cut the hair. There's a little bit in the glasses here. We'll go get that in after. Now there's other selection tools that you can use. And we're going to learn how to use the quick selection tool a lot when we start playing around with the hair and so on. But for now, I think the magic wand tool is one of your better tools. You could click, you know, on all these little pieces here and get that. So make sure that, there's, that hit the shoe a little bit too much. So if you're not sure, you can go control. I'll show you how to get the green out of his shoes in a few minutes. So another thing, you can use the marquee tool. So just go like this, delete. So delete everything that's in the box. So that way you clean off your picture because anything you leave behind will follow you when you move to another picture, okay? Another layer, I mean. So there's a, still a green glow and you still see a lot of green. So I usually use the marquee tool to get that. Some up here too. Let's grab this again. Grab it there. Delete. 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 We got most of it. See any? Well, there's still some around the shoe here. So I'm going to maybe also, there's another real cool tool is the lasso tool. You go around like a little lasso, make sure you get only what you want. Then when you're done, you see the marching ants, click delete. I'm going to do the same thing here, get close to the shoe and delete. So I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, I'm kind of going to go a little quicker. I might fine-tune it a little bit. I'm going to go with the magic wand tool right here because this will be a hard spot to get using that other technique. So you got the glass there. And click delete. No, that didn't work. Okay, so there you go. Now we're not quite done. And you see I can still see some of the uh, the things that I missed. So I'm going to control D to deselect. So I'm going to just go over here with the lasso tool to get most of what I just missed. And maybe over here there was a couple too. Okay. So now I'm ready to do refine edge. And refine edge is going to get all this green glow. Our green screen our room is a little too small, so it's uh, we often get the glow that bounces off the screen, which is something if we had a little bit bigger room, there'd be less of a reflection. It's not something easy to fix, so um, get a bigger room, I guess, but uh, that won't happen. So, oh, and I miss a little piece up here. That's really important. And move it over. Okay. So, refine edge. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to just click back here, Control Z. I'm going to click Control key, double click on my person. And now he's selected. Okay, how do I know? I see the marching ants all the way around him. And I can see the, 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 some of the things I still missed. Maybe I'm going to just take a second here and still get that. You really do want to get that because it kind of will ruin your, your, your photo if you don't. Do it again. So control D for deselect. Yeah, make sure you have the character selected. 
All right. And just a little bit over here. I got the lasso tool. Okay. Let me do that again. I'm going to control B to deselect. Okay. It's going to be good enough. So I'm going to go refine edge. Turn on the smart radius. Move it up a little bit. What that'll do is fix a little bit of what you have around the edges. And you could change the color so you see it a little bit better. Um, and I'm also going to use the brush. I'm going to increase that. Don't feather too much, but a little bit. And give it a little more of this. So then also decontaminate the color. This is what will fix the green. You see your brush there? Uh, you can increase the size of it with the bracket tool. Okay, see how it's growing? Or other bracket tool to shrink it. So the bracket tool on your keyboard, that is. So I'm going to go with this. And I got rid of a lot of the green here. Pretty happy. This works the best with the hair, but sometimes there's green. Like there was green in the running shoe here and inside the pants. So let's fix that. We don't want this ugly glow in our final here. Oh, it's just going to ruin the whole thing. So there we are. So that's already way better. I'm going to just try and run it over here, see what it should decontaminate the color. Yeah, it did a little bit. It's a lot whiter all of a sudden, a lot less green. Okay, and we're going to do a little shot here on the, where the logo is. See? Let's go look at that. Sometimes you can hit it twice too to get a little more. Okay, so that's pretty good. A little bit over here. And for often, I'll say the girls, the hair, you got to do a little more because they have longer hair. And for the most part, when I did your shots, I told you guys to put your hair behind your, your neck. This is less Photoshop work. Okay, and maybe a little bit of green there. So now... And a little bit of green around the hands. Let's go and get that. Maybe under the bottom two here. And you can always do Control Plus to zoom in. Maybe you you know you want to double check a quick OK. I'm pretty happy with that. Control minus. Oops. Wait a second. So yeah, he's pretty good. You know, I did this pretty quickly. Now here's something that's ongoing with this assignment. So I, I could re-hit there, but for the most part, this green's all gone. So I have two layers. Let's pretend I'm ready to do the next step. I'm going to show this in another video. But what I want you to do is merge these two layers. Because when you start adding effects on, sometimes other layers will conflict. So the mask here will conflict maybe with the... It, that could happen. So it, to solve that, just re-go back into one layer. And here's the thing. I'm going to add a new layer, or let's go get a background image. We're not doing this yet, okay? But uh, let's pretend I wanted a background image of something. Uh, let's just use this. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab this. I don't know. I didn't check the size. Boom. Drop it in here. Okay, so I'm going to go and put it underneath. And, you know, you have two layers. Obviously, I would resize this. See, I'm going to move my character, click on the character, of course, and I can move them around. You know, you can even uh, rotate them, so Control t You can transform him or her. You can rotate them, okay? You could, you could start shrinking them. You could warp him, okay? And I'll show you this a little bit later. Maybe he's a cerebral character, and you want to... Uh, do something, make them taller. These are all things that we're, you could possibly do. Okay, so I'm going to go Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z for multiple undos and transform. You're going to press Enter. Okay, so there you go. If you have any questions, please don't be shy. That's how you get your hero off the green background or whatever background that you have. Now we're ready for the next step: transform him into an actual hero. Thank you.